Do you want to take your ultimate team from looking like this and turn it into this? Well, you are on the right video. Today, we are talking about the best trading techniques. If you really have no idea where to start with FIFA trading, this is the perfect video for you. Even if you do know a few things, you might learn something new. And if you do learn something new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, I want to start off with bronze pack method, something that was very effective in older features, but is still quite effective today. What is bronze pack method? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. You open up bronze packs in hopes to sell what you earn for a profit. The thing with bronze pack method and trading in general, it's all about timing. So when is the best time to open bronze packs? Your safest bet is when one of these icon SBCs drop. For all of these SBCs, you need to submit a team full of rare bronze players. And some people might just need one more bronze player they have to buy off the market or some people need a whole squad of bronze players this will make a bronze rare player sell for around 500 coins considering it costs 750 coins to open up the packet there's a good chance you'll make a profit Let's move on to non-rare gold players. This is personally my favorite way to trade. This is probably the most exciting way to trade and you're gonna see the most amount of action on the market with this technique. There's a lot of non-rare gold players in the game that actually sell for a lot of coins. And there's even more FIFA players that don't know about these prices. So you can see in the background, I'm using Luke Aylan. While I was recording this video, he was selling for 1,500 coins, which means I was making a minimum of 400 coins profit every time I got one. And there's so many non-rare gold players to sell for a good price. Look, Aspilicueta, Cucurella, Aaron Ramsey. The best place to find these players that you can sell is on Footbin. It's a great website to monitor player prices so you can see exactly how they fluctuate. This isn't sponsored, it's just a great website to help you trade. One of the safest techniques for trading is fodder trading. Once again, this all comes down to timing. You wait for a day where there's not too much going on in FIFA. If there is no new SBCs, this will make the 85 and 86 rated players drop dramatically in price. You simply buy as many as you can off the market, and sell them at 6 o'clock. This is one of the simplest and easiest ways to make coins in FIFA. But once again, it's all about timing. 